Well, it's almost that time. We are almost ready to race. If you're just joining us, you're joining us in Manchester at the Bellevue Stadium for the Monster Energy FIM Speedway of Nations race off to Great Britain play host to six other nations. And they'll be battling it out to join Poland, Sweden, Germany, and of course the host nation Russia on the 20th and 21st of July. Now, this is where all of the action happens. This is the pits, this is the pit bays here, and it's very very, very busy at the moment. Team Australia, one of the favourites. Now, Chris Holder in for Jason Doyle. And I just wanted to interrupt, as we always do. Hi, Mark. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm just Good. Yeah, Mouthful, just per perfect timing, indeed. OK, well, Mark, you've had a few changes, a few rider changes, but quite a strong lineup, all the same. Yeah, bringing Chris Holder in, you know, is no sort of hindrance to our team. Obviously, losing Jason is a blow, um, especially the form he's been in. Uh, and he's just so passionate uh, to represent his country too. So not that the others aren't, but um, you know, you know, former world champion and on fine form, it's, it's going to be hard. But uh, the key thing is, Jason's obviously taken an injury, which we want him to be uh, fit and well for the next Grand Prix, and um, and we couldn't really risk him. You know, we you know potentially could do eight races here tonight. So you know, with a broken rib and a, you know sort of damaged lung, it's um, probably not the place to be. Well, coming in as one of the favourites, do you see Great Britain and Denmark as the contenders or are you just looking at the whole field as a strong competition field? Yeah, I think it's the usual suspects, really, when you look at the, the line-up. Um, so you probably, those three nations are sort of up there and you expect to be, you know, sort of progressing through. But you'll never underestimate, you know, the other countries. They've got some pretty talented riders and, uh, you know, Speedway's a funny old game, so it throws <laughs> up a curveball. And, you know, a bit like last year, you know, we had that, that you know, sort of, tense moments there with those those cut off uh, ra uh, race off races okay well new rules under 21s come into play any ideas when you're going to put that in yeah I got a couple of ideas but um, you know we'll see how that uh, you know, pans out to begin with but um, obviously you know you're gonna try and pick on the sort of the, the, the nations that probably aren't sort of the uh, the usual suspects okay we'll let you get back to dinner sorry to interrupt all right well we'll just swing around this way because uh, another usual face in the pits great britain looking at to get uh, their first gold medal since 1989 nigel is this the year for great britain mm -hmm. uh they've got a chance of course what they did last year in the final was fantastic and of course ty won the final so if they can repeat that type of performance then they will be in the mix they've got a chance yes they can do it not sure they will. I think it's going to be a, a great tournament in Russia. And I think here in Bellevue, the National Speedway Stadium, which is my favourite track in the world, um, I think we're going to see a great night's racing. Yeah, for sure. OK, well, you are in the commentary booth with Calvin. What makes for the ultimate pairs heat? Well, when there's a bit of team riding involved and if you've got a situation where, you know, you need a race advantage and the leader is looking over his shoulder and deliberately slowing down, to try and get his partner through into second place for a maximum race. Team riding, looking over your shoulder, slowing down, trying to slow your opponent down. And, and that is great team riding. Kelvin was useless at it as a rider. He was so selfish, he'd just gate and go. <laughs> but great at it is in the commentary booth, we're sure. Okay, thank you so much, <laughs> Nigel Pearson. You'll be hearing more of him, of course, later on. And uh, that'll be from around about 7 p.m. Remember, that's local time, okay? Mark's just trying to escape from us so he can eat his dinner. Let's head into the pits now, uh, a bit further deep. Ooh, what a nice surprise. We see Natalie Quirk in the distance there as well. We won't interrupt her. Right, Team GB here. Well, we have been speaking to Robert and Ty and Craig all very relaxed at the moment. I might just interrupt Craig and just see how he's feeling. He's wearing a bubble hat, but the sun's out. Unexpected sunshine, Craig. Well, we're up north now, so you can't be uh, too careful. Eh? <laughs> how are you feeling ahead of tonight? The crowds are going to be big. Yeah, I hope so. You know, it's always a bonus to be uh, in our home nation, uh, risking for our home crowd. So I um, hope they all get behind us tonight and uh, create some great atmosphere. What's it like riding pairs with the other two? Well, they're both phenomenally phenomenally uh, capable riders so um, yeah it's uh, you know the, the great guys to ride with and um, you know if, if we need a bit of team riding then both of them are very capable to do so okay thanks Craig we'll leave you to it they've got a, a signing in a bit as well so all the fans can get their autographs now this is what happens the pit sort of opens up and all the fans all the officials all the people come into here so I'm going to walk you back out to the track so we get a bit of clear air now there's plenty of action as we said Poland Germany and Sweden already through joining host nation Russia so it is a question of can they do it a very strong Denmark team as well so the likely suspects are Great Britain Australia and Denmark but make sure you keep across all of our social media to find out exactly what happens on the night